Yeah, I don't, I don't know about exceeded, you know, but we're definitely playing hard, you know. Like I tell guys all the time, you know, we've been building this thing, you know, since day one, since we got here. You know, I got a really good staff. You know, we got good kids, you know, they're playing hard. And, you know, I wasn't surprised at how hard we played. You know, still obviously a lot of things we want to get better at and things we need to improve on. But, you know, our, our standards, our standard in terms of how hard we want to play and how tough we want to be, you know, so as long as we continue to do that, you know, we think we got a chance to continue to build. Obviously, you knew that you had a lot of depth on that front. You've been able to play a lot of guys in those first two games. Is that been best case scenario for you in seeing what guys can, can do? Yeah, absolutely. You know, we had a plan going into um, this fall that we wanted to play a lot of guys at every position, to be honest. You know, if the guys work hard, you know, we want to get, give them what they deserve, so to speak. So, you know, we think our fronts, our strength, just based on the sheer number of guys that we got that we feel like can play at a high level. So. Um, you know, that's who we want to be. You know, that's who we wanted to be day one when we got here. And, you know, we're finally being able to show that. Just to follow that up, uh, specifically on the defensive line, it's so early season, the heavy rotation, that's not like an early season experiment. You guys, you guys want to do that the whole season. Yeah, that's our plan. You know, as long as guys continue to play at the standard that we talked about earlier, you know, playing fast, tough, smart, all those good things, you know, they'll continue to play. You know, we got a lot of good guys there. We got a great mixture of youth, you know, and some of the veteran guys that have obviously been around here. So as long as these guys continue to play hard, they'll continue to play. Go to the back with Casey, then Rob here on the left. This defense hasn't allowed a touchdown in 12 quarters going back to the Citrus Bowl last year. What do you think that says about them? Well, I'll be honest, I didn't know that. You know, I tell our guys all the time, we're on the next game mentality. You know, every game's different. You know, we just want to go out there and be the best that we can be, you know, every single rep. As cliche as that sound, that's the honest to God truth. You know, I don't look at stats. I told you guys that when I first got here. You know, I had no idea. We just know from snap to snap, you know, we want to be at our best. And if that's what the result is, then so be it. Coach at linebacker with Keenan, I think everybody kind of expected that he would do well, but you know, he just played, I guess, a half. So what's it been like to see him actually go out there and put it on tape? Well, I, I tell you, that's a great question. You know, for me, you know, it, it's very um, satisfying. You know, he's a kid that's worked his tail off. He got hurt early in the season last year, and I know how tough that was for him, but he stayed locked in. You know, he stayed with the team. He continued to push guys and, and learn our defense. So to finally see him see the fruits of his, his efforts, man, I, listen, it, it, I feel like a proud dad, you know, to see him go out there and do what he did. So he's a big athlete. We knew that. You know, he's got great stamina. You know, we think he's only going to get better as we continue to grow in this defense. So we're, we're excited for him. You may not look at stats, but a lot of the kids do. So, I mean, like when you're looking at James and he's not got a sack through two games and kids, you know, naturally want to equate that to success. How do you say, hey, you're affecting the game in other ways to, to let him know, hey, you're still having a huge impact whether you get the sack total up or not? Yeah, I, I think for me, you know, once again, uh, I didn't even know that, you know, they didn't have a sack because James was playing extremely hard for us. You know, he's getting a lot of attention, you know, just like we thought he would. So, you know, I think as long as he continue to work hard and play hard, I think the sacks will come. You know, he hasn't pouted about it. He hasn't said one word about it. You know, I think he's satisfied that we're winning. You know, we're obviously playing at a high level. And, you know, as long as everybody's doing that, you know, nobody cares who gets, quote, unquote, the statistics. Coach, you knew and you said in the preseason you were more athletic in the back end. What have you liked about what your secondary has done through eight quarters of football so far? Yeah, they've been really good. You know, I think that's, again, another great point. You know, those guys are really athletic back there and they can run. Um, again, inexperienced, you know, obviously haven't played a ton of football, but I think where they lack, you know, just the experience they make up with sheer athleticism. But, you know, those guys have been very competitive. You know, we've been able to rotate some guys at that position as well. Uh, we think, again, as long as they continue to grow week in, week out, we think those guys got a chance to really be good here and, you know, give us something to be really proud of on that back end. Ben and Patrick. Tim, how would you assess what you've seen from Arion so far, especially for a young linebacker, played running back a lot in high school and, and uh, still young at the college age? Just uh, what have you seen from him so far? Yeah, I'll tell you what, again, another great question. You know, for me, I think I may have told you guys this, the biggest growth I've seen from him is just his football IQ. You know, he was a freshman last year. Obviously, you know, he played a lion's share at running back in high school. So to see the growth that he has at linebacker has been, been amazing for me. You know, he's always been a good athlete. He's always played hard. But him being able to play a, a step quicker because he understands how offenses are trying to attack us. So, 
you know, I, I've been very pleased. You know, just again, his overall football IQ. You know, he's blessed with athleticism, but he's really worked hard to make sure he understands not only our defense, but, you know, how our opponents are trying to attack us. Tim, we, with the two guys at the star spot, Christian and Boo, what have you seen from them through, through, through two games? It seems like they've been pretty solid in terms of executing their, their job and their assignments. Yeah, I, I think same thing. You know, we're really athletic at that spot. You know, we're a little green. You know, neither one of those guys have played a ton of football, obviously collegiately, you know, at the star position, so to speak. Um, but the athleticism shows up, you know, um, when we bring those guys occasionally, you know, we've seen some, some effort there. And, um, the results that we want when we're blitzing those guys, I think the more they play again, you know, we continue to see different sets and guys trying to attack them differently, you know, I think they'll continue to grow. But, you know, right now I'm really pleased at what we're getting from the star position. Through two games, what's the biggest area of growth you've seen from Tyree West? Man, I, I think, you know, along the lines of what I said with AC, you know, just the, 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 the mental part of it, you know, understanding, you know, leverage and being where he's supposed to be when he's supposed to be there. You know, he's always been a really good athlete. He's always played with great motor. I mean, he's in tremendous shape right now. You know, he's playing extremely hard. Um, but I just like, you know, just the, the details that he's playing with it to this point. How are you balancing the helmet communication on your side of the ball? A lot of the talk has been on offense. Keenan had mentioned how it's an adjustment for him. How's that balance between the play call and then those reminders you guys are able to give them? Yeah, that's, a, again, a great question. Um, it's, it's a work in progress. You know, I'm, I'm one of them guys, you know, I try not to overcoach them and, you know, get them a chance to play. Um, you know, and different teams are different, you know, just, you know, how much time is left to be able to give them the information that you want to give them. But, you know, like I said, you know, um, KP's a, you know, he's a pro, you know, he's works at it, you know, the communication that we have had, you know, has been good, but I think every game's a little bit different. You know, I think the first game was okay. I thought it was better this game and hopefully the next game, you know, this weekend will be even better. Tim, I think it, when it's late in that game, 51 to 10, the final five or six minutes and you've still got guys like repeatedly getting into the backfield, making plays, being excited about it. Is that kind of a culture thing? A lot of times, Teams just kind of play out the string in those moments. No, yeah. I'm, listen, man. The standards, the standard. You know, we've been saying that since we've been here. You know, when the guys are in the game, you know, we, we've always played vertical. You know, we we try to get those guys to you know an opportunity to play. We want to see the same results. We want the guys to play within the framework of the defense, and if that gives us a chance to play on the other side of the line of scrimmage. Then so be it. Um, but yeah, it, it was encouraging to be able to put those guys in there and, and guys not busting, guys know what they're doing, and more importantly, playing hard. Saturday, Coach Heupel took a moment to remind everyone that the standard at Tennessee is to have elite defense. How did the 13 TFL Saturday exemplify that? Um, I didn't hear that last part. I'm so sorry. Oh. Yeah, I mean, again, I think it just speaks more to just playing hard again. Um, you know, that, that standard has been the same since we stepped in the room. You know, when, we, when I took the job, you know, three or four years ago, you know, we wanted to play great defense here. You know, people said it would be a challenge, you know, for us, you know, for me personally, we never run from a challenge. You know, we wanted that. You know, I, I've been blessed enough to be in a lot of programs where we've been able to play great defense. And I knew if we had a chance to continue to grow this program, we would play great defense. But I, I always tell guys at the end of the day, again, it's game by game. We know what that is. But, you know, to this point, you know, the guys are playing at the level we thought they would play. Idris Farouk, he had the big hit there at the end of the fourth quarter and just, just kind of referenced some of those guys playing hard there at the end. What, what is it that you've liked about him and kind of where's he grown from when he got here to now? Yeah, um, he's a super smart kid. You know, we've really had to force feed him to play both sides. You know, he's played field safety, boundary safety for us. We even played him a little bit at star in practice. Um, I just love his instincts. You know, he's always 100 miles an hour. You know, like I tell him, every, every open field tackle don't have to be a knockout shot. You know, I think he's starting to learn that. You know, he wants to be able to play, you know, under control. But, man, when we get him close to the box, he's, he's extremely efficient. You know, he's got good footwork. You know, he's a, he's a willing tackler. He's aggressive. But I think the main thing, the main strength that I love is that he's coachable and he's, just, he's extremely smart. Back here, Coach, yes. one of the fun plays of the night. Joshua alters the pass, and Will takes it all the way back. What are you thinking when that's happening, and how, how important is it to score on defense, right? Well, that's always important. God is good, brother. I, I think, um, you know, seeing Brooks do what he did, you know, knowing where he's come from, you know, was really just – it was very satisfying as a coach. Um, the kid works extremely hard, you know, whether it was special teams, you know, whether it was, you know, a rotational guy to being a starter. You know, he's always been the same, you know, extremely smart, you know, and for him to be able to make that play and, you know, give us a boost on defense was, like I said, really satisfying for me, and, and I'm, I'm just happy for him. Thank you, Coach. All right. Appreciate you guys.